Now, if I'm receiving a thrust coming in toward my shoulder joint here, and my sword tip is up, or my sword is on the outside here, there's a tendency for new students, new practitioners, to deflect this way. Because if you look at my sword, Dei Fong's blade's coming in here, my blade's here, oh, I have to move it away from me. And that is a very long distance. If you get it, it's usually almost a very panicked deflection, you usually lose the tip control, and then, of course, you've made a big opening on the other side for the Dei Fong to enter. What I want to do is just move the Dei Fong's blade just this much, just outside my body, just what, about 10, 12, maybe 15 centimeters. So I'm just going to go this way. So you've got to get used to repositioning your sword and moving it around, letting the Dei Fong's weapon come in, capturing it, catching it, deflecting it out, keeping that tip control, and then coming in. So that's the second thing we do, is got to get used to. And also here, I may have to move my sword around. If cut's coming in here and I was on the other side, I have to move my blade around. So getting comfortable with this repositioning of your sword, and the same for the lower body, that's the second skill, or the second of the three we need to learn. The third is this jiejin. We talk about jiejin a lot. In Chinese swordsmanship, one thing that is a conceptually quite different is that we have this idea of danxing, that it's continuous movement, right? That the flex strike is one movement. Like when I'm, I remember writing these things down, I always make it a hyphenated word. It's one word, one term, right? It's deflect, strike, deflect, strike, or deflect, cut, right? One movement. 